Hey guys, one of the most common problems of a water tank is the thermocouple going dead. Nine times out of ten, that's the main problem uh, if, the, if the flame keeps going out. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the thermocouple. There's a few other safety items on this you can look into, but I'll show that in other videos. Hope this can help you get yourself out of a jam You save yourself a little bit of money. This is a natural gas, natural draft water heater. We'll be dealing with this section down here. First thing you're going to want to do is turn the valve from on to off to ensure this baby doesn't come on while we're working. And remove this lower panel to gain access to the burner. There's usually an inside panel as well. You're going to want to remove that. You will need a 3 8 open end wrench here, 3 quarter inch, and a 7 16 open and wrench there. Or you can use an adjustable wrench, but please do not use a pair of pliers. You're going to tear up these ends here. In my field, I work on these a lot, so I have these tied together like this, my three wrenches. We're going to start with the pilot tubing on the far left here. Most of them are configured the same way. Pilot tube has the quarter inch tube coming off of it. So we take the 7 16 wrench, loosen that up, then we go with the main burner, this is the middle one. That's the 3 quarter inch open end wrench. And that. And the last one is thermocouple itself. It's 3 8 Then you just pull it right out. Pull it down, wiggle a little bit, pull it out. Might have a little debris on the top of it. Like this. Just sweep it out. And we'll sweep out the inside of it too. All right, so I took the sweeper here and I cleaned off the burner and the combustion chamber inside. All right, here's the thermocouple on this far side here. I'm just gonna take this, pull it right out of there. This right here is where the thermocouple went up through. There's a little clip here piece that I'm gonna have to pull out. And uh, the new one comes with a brand new one that'll push in there. Show you how to do that in a minute. It's a good practice too to pull this nut off here and clean the pilot tubing off uh, for the pilot flame. Today we're not going to do that. Maybe in a full servicing we can do that down the road. But today I'm just showing you about the, the thermocouple. You can buy these at any home store. Uh, I got this from work and yes I did pay for it. <laughs> Anyways. I take my pliers, put the little new piece in there from the thermocouple kit, drop it in this hole, use it to push down in, you're good to go. You should try to match the length of the old thermocouple. This one is a 24 inch. And prior to putting the burner back in, there is a good thing to note that there is a little tab right here. It fits right into a slot that's in the middle of the combustion area of the water tank. In the slot, you can see it's right in the middle. Pop it in there. Now that we know the burner is secure in its slot, we're going to start hooking these uh, screws back up. Again, we can connect the middle one, main burner up. Remember, that's the three quarter inch open end wrench. Make sure it's good and tight when you get it up there. Go with the pilot tubing, 
That one's the 7 16th. Opened end wrench. It's always on the right side. Again, never use a pair of pliers to do this. You're going to beat up the brass nut. If any repairs have to be made, you kind of screw in the next guy. And that next guy is usually you. Or you're going to pay more for a service tech to put in a new piece. Here is the new thermocouple. Out there and this one of course is the last one which is a 3 8 opened end wrench always hand thread these in first a little ways so you're not cross threading make sure it's good and snug this little loop here is fine for that now it's safe to turn this back to pilot usually most have a notch here it matches the notch on the gas control it's a little bit of an older model, but still you have to push down on this plunger here and then light your pilot. I'll show you where that's located down below. Pushing down on the red plunger up above, then you can follow this quarter inch tubing is your feed for the pilot. Follow that all the way to the bracket and you'll know which one to light down here. See? Blue light. It's already lit. You gotta take notice on the flame, make sure it's a nice strong flame and that's not yellow. You may see a little orange in there, that is okay. Not yellow, yellow is bad. You gotta pull it back out and clean the uh, pilot orifice off a little bit better. Okay, before I turn this knob up here to the on setting, I'm gonna turn this uh, thermometer thermostat knob to the vacation setting. I will turn this to the on position and then turn this up. We should hear the main burner kick in. You should hear the full flame kick in. You see the flame rolling upwards, going up into the flue and out. If it's coming flat or coming out at you, shut it down and call a certified technician. Okay, I hope you're a little more confident in replacing the thermocouple. It's pretty simple. Also remember those fittings you took off, the quarter inch tubing, the main gas valve, you should put a little soap around it once it's running and make sure it's not leaking. Tighten it up as needed. If it's still leaking, even though you have it tightened up, you should call a professional to come out and fix it. See you guys next time. Look at him. I think he wants to mate.